Hi, this is Josh. Wanted to share an idea with you that I've been using to improve cold call connect to meeting book rate. Let me define what a connect is first. So I define a connect as a conversation with the prospect. So not a gatekeeper, not an executive assistant, but the actual person that you intended to have a conversation with. And the objective of this idea is to be able to improve the quality of those calls, meaning the percentage of time those conversations convert into a meeting. So let me walk you through the idea. Um, I'm not gonna actually share with you the cold call script because it's a little irrelevant and plus some of this information is confidential. But essentially the idea is that your cold call has a bunch of different parts to it. Um, you may name your parts a little bit differently, but there's always like a beginning there's a hook or a pitch, there's some questions and then there's an ask, whatever you wanna call it, whatever methodology that you're following has some parts. So for the purposes of this example, this particular client, we've got a series of parts. So there's an introduction part, there's a personalization part, there's this pitch part, there's some questions that we're asking, and then there's also this part called an expansion where we're asking some additional questions. And then of course, there's the end part, which is asking for the meeting. So there's six or seven parts uh, or in this, this uh, client, six parts to a, to a call. And the idea here is, is that can we measure at a conversation level where people are dropping off during these steps of the call so that we can actually start to optimize specific parts of the call rather than thinking of the call as a whole. So let me go over to Salesforce to show you what I built for this client. So what you're looking at here is the call funnel dashboard. And the first column represents the parts of the script. So each tile represents a stage. We have an intro part of the script, a personalization part, a contract accepted part, a pitch accepted part, gap accepted part, and a meeting booked. Over here, this number, 105, represents the number of times prospects accepted the intro, meaning we said something like, hey, this is Josh, I'm calling on a recorded line. How you feeling today, Bob? And Bob says, I'm feeling fine, rather than just hanging up on you. So 105 times since the beginning of time, prospects have not hung up on us at hello. That represents 83% of the time. So about 20% of the time they are hanging up on us at hello. Why is this important? Because we can actually set a benchmark for our intros. Let's say it's 80%. And if that number is dipping below 80%, we can actually start to optimize this particular part of the call. Same thing goes for each section of the script. We can actually see the drop off and the accept rate for each section of the script. Something else we can do is actually drill into each tile. So if you wanna hear calls with meeting booked, we click on this link and we're taken to this screen where we can actually listen to the specific recording of the call. Same thing if we wanna see the gap, gaps accepted or the pitches accepted, we can drill into that part of the script. Um, the other thing we can do in this dashboard is actually view this by specific date range, month, quarter, last 90 days, and by individual rep or all reps. Uh, why is this important? we can go in an individual rep and see, are they above or below the benchmark of 80%? If everybody's at 82 and this particular rep is at 65, we'll wanna see, are they adhering to the script or to something with their tonality? So again, it allows you to track down and optimize specific parts um, of the script. One number that's particularly interesting is this number down over here, which is a great stat, which is the connect to meeting book rate. So the number of times we actually speak to a prospect and the percentage of time those actually result in a meeting booked. So we like to see that above 14% as a team. This team is tracking uh, above that at 19%. Again, if a rep was tracking a little bit below what, what's considered good, we could work with that rep and see if it's a tonality issue, um, is it a you know, volume dial issue, uh, or is it a you know, script issue? And we can kind of we coach them accordingly. Um, something else that was built was called a dial dashboard. And this one actually shows you the dial volume that the reps are making um, month over month, week over week, and also the percentage of time they are actually connecting with the target. Uh, we like to see that number above 5%. Uh, this team is tracking a little bit below that. Uh, so what, what can we do with this data? We can look at the way in which we're sourcing data, perhaps tell the team to make sure they're only selecting numbers with direct dials out of Zoom Info. The final dashboard is the meetings dashboard. Let me walk you through it. This drop down menu allows you to sort it by different types of time frames, so week, month, quarter, 90 days. The first tile is pending meetings. These are meetings that have been booked by the SDRs, but that have not taken place yet with an AE. 
Next tile, meetings by type. So we have outbound, meaning we have an account list, we got some prospects, we're booking them cold, versus postbound. This is a term codified by Beck Holland, and it represents meetings booked via webinars, content downloads, or trade shows. And we can actually see meetings that are pending versus meetings that have been qualified by the AE. Next tile, completed meetings by SDR. So how many meetings has the AE had with prospects SDRs have booked and what percentage of those have been qualified and which ones are bad meetings, meaning the AE has rejected the meeting because it hasn't satisfied the qualification criteria. The reason this is important is that we don't wanna just book meetings. We wanna book meetings that the AEs accept and if we're noticing a percentage of meetings that are quote unquote bad, it's a great coaching opportunity. Next, we have meetings by source. So are the meetings booked via cold call, email, or LinkedIn? And you can see with this client, most of the meetings are being booked via call. And then we have past due dispositions. I'm gonna talk a lot more about this in a second, but these are meetings that are no-shows. And then opportunities owned by SDRs. What revenue are SDRs sourcing for AEs? Let me jump back to this tile for a second. Past due dispositions. What happens when a prospect doesn't show up? You have to have a process for that. So let me walk you through the process. SDR books a meeting and creates an opportunity in Salesforce. And the type of opportunity, it's gonna be called new business because it's outbound. Stage is gonna be zero. Let me explain to you what that is. Your sales process has different stages. Qualified, proposal, contract, close, etc. We've actually added a new stage called stage zero or pending. And this is gonna be a holding area that the meeting is gonna be in until it's been accepted and held by the AE. Next, we have meeting date. When's the meeting taking place? And we're using that to trigger some additional workflows, which we're gonna to get to in a second. Um, meeting source and meeting type. So has the meeting been set via cold email, LinkedIn, or email? And the type, is it inbound, is it outbound, is it postbound? Next, we have the sourced by. So Salesforce is automatically gonna know um, which SDR sourced the meeting. And then we have another part of the flowchart called meeting held. Was the meeting held or not? If the meeting was not held, the AE is gonna set a flag at the opportunity level called no-show and there's an automatic workflow that's gonna happen, meaning the SDR is gonna automatically get alerted by an email, and this prospect is gonna go into a no-show cadence or sequence. What is that? It's in sales loft or outreach. It's a series of steps, calls and emails, that the SDR will use to rebook the meeting. Once it's been rescheduled, as you can see, the flowchart comes back around, and if the meeting has been qualified, the opportunity then is set to stage one, which is qualified. If the opportunity has not been qualified, it goes over to the right, and the AE signifies why the meeting has not been qualified in terms of the reason. And again, the SDR gets an alert, we see it in the dashboard, so that we can improve the quality of the meetings. So let me show you what this looks like in Salesforce. Here we are at the new opportunity record. SDR gives the opportunity a name. SDR sets the stage. So this is what I was talking about earlier. We've actually added a new stage called meeting set in addition to the other parts of your sales process. This serves as a holding area for the meeting until the AE has it. Uh, down over here, we can actually see some of those other flags that we were talking about with regards to meeting status. So is the meeting pending? Has it been rescheduled? Is it qualified? Is it unqualified? Or is it a no-show? We also have the meeting type, inbound, outbound, postbound and the meeting source. Is it a call, email, or LinkedIn? The meeting date, that could be pre-populated by tools like Outreach once the meeting has been scheduled. All right, hopefully this makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. Or if you'd like this built for your organization, we can do that too. All right, have a great day. Take care.